Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for April 13th of 2024 is titled Palm Tree Partial Eclipse. So what do we see here? Well, here we actually see on the ground a number of images of the partially eclipsed sun. Now, this occurs because the leaves on trees, and in this case a palm tree, they will act as mini cameras and act as tiny lenses and bring images down to the ground. Now you can make a pinhole camera by putting a hole, a pinhole in a piece of cardboard and then holding that up to the sun and allowing the image to project on another piece of cardboard. Well this is the same kind of thing except on a much larger scale because as you can see we're not getting just a single image of the sun here but we have many images of the crescent shape of the sun during the eclipse. Now at this location in Florida the eclipse was not total so we only had a partial phase there and you can see that much of the sun is still visible so you can see those little crescent shapes and those are again images of our sun as seen during the eclipse of April the 8th. And we've had a chance over the last few days to look at a number of different pictures and different ways of looking at an eclipse here. As said, this was the uh, major eclipse that went across North America from Mexico up through the eastern United States and Canada uh, on Monday of this week. Now, while eclipses occur all the time, and in fact, we get some kind of eclipses every single year, where they are visible is different because of the geometry of the Earth, Moon, and Sun, and where the shadows happen to fall on Earth. So while we might get an eclipse every year, any given area may not see an eclipse uh, more than every few years. And to see a total solar eclipse, it can be hundreds of years between times when a specific location sees that to a total eclipse. So here, if you were happened to be in the right spot, you did get to see a total eclipse. Other areas such as here in Clearwater, Florida, it was about half eclipse. So about half of the sun was blocked out by the moon at the maximum. So this was relatively far away from the path of totality, which was up in the very northeastern parts of the US and into Canada by the time it got this far east. So it was again the what sometimes called one of the great American eclipses for covering large chunks of North America. And in fact, almost all of North America got to see at least some part of the eclipse, even just a partial eclipse and certain areas if you were in the right path, were able to see the moon totally eclipse the sun and block out its light for a few minutes. So that was our picture of the day for April 13th of 2024. It was titled Palm Tree Partial Eclipse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.